So a few weeks back, I made a Nelson bench. It's a piece of mid-century modern furniture that Herman Miller kind of puts out. It's incredible, but also fairly expensive and generally out of my price range. But of course, I want to try making one out of my medium of recycled skateboards. It's just a vision that I've always kind of had, and I think making those visions come true sometimes is just what life is kind of all about. So in this particular video, we're going to try and make that happen. Here we go. We first start off by grinding off the grip tape gunk and the graphic themselves. Sometimes you get some really cool graphics on the back. Speaking of which, have y'all seen that crazy UFO footage of late? Hot dang. Anyhow, after you've grinded away your graphics, it's time to prepare the boards themselves to be all glued up into the slats. We start off by taking off the nose and the tail first, and then we cut it up into two inch slices. I think for this project, there were probably something close to 100 slices or so. Okay, at this point with the first few skateboards cut, it's time to prepare a jig uh, in which we're gonna glue up the slats. I'm gonna make this out of melamine just cause I have some extra melamine here. But let's build the jig for the glue up first and then we'll kind of go from there. Okay, so with the jig built, it's time to start putting some of the boards into this. We're gonna go approximately three boards wide. Comment below how many boards you think this is actually gonna take. At the end of this, at the end of this video, we'll, uh, we'll have a tally of how many boards were used. Okay, so I think at this point, it's time to build out the legs of this particular bench. To try and keep materials effectively free on this build, I found this particular pallet in downtown Ottawa, and I'm taking a page from the book of my pals like Mark Daner and Morley Kirk. We take all these wonderful pallets and build all this wonderful furniture. Um, I've got some nice hardwood on here, and I only need about 14 inch sections. So I'm gonna use a saw and effectively cut out these sections and uh, use them to build out these legs here. So let's get at it. With sections for the wooden base cut, we first have to square them up by throwing them on the jointer. We join two faces just to ensure that we have nice reference points. We then plane them all to ensure that we have the same thickness for all the boards themselves too. Okay, so now that I have a couple of these bad boys jointed, um, I think we have some birch in our hand. I'm not a thousand percent sure, but I'm pretty sure it's a hardwood. It's definitely a little stronger than that of pine. Um, but definitely not a maple or anything like that. So yeah, I mean, comment below if, uh, if you think it's anything different here. We then have to cut an angle into each of the sections. The angle is eight degrees and it's cut on all edges. After assembling the top section of the bench itself, we then find out how long our bottom section needs to be. And here comes the big head into the frame in three, two, one. After cutting it to size and putting it all together, we basically have our base. With a little bit of elbow grease, we've taken a pallet on the side of the road and made it into wonderful legs for our bench. Last step is painting these bad boys black, and from there, we're pretty much ready to finish off this project. Okay, with our slats ready to go, the next step really is to kind of cut out the centers, which are going to tie all the slats together. And uh, I've kind of created this. This is a template for what we're going to effectively use to tie all the slats together. So I'm going to make a test cut here, ensure that the clearances are really as tight as possible, just because I don't want any of that gapping. And then once we're good with a template, we're going to effectively cut it onto uh, our actual skateboard centers there. So yeah, kind of tense work, but uh, if we do it well, I think it might work out, so let's give this a shot. So in between the cuts, I'm also just kind of checking to ensure that the fit is pretty good. Basically just testing to ensure that, you know, our clearances are pretty tight. So it's looking good so far. And um, yeah, just many more hours of very precise cutting to go. So here we go.
So we're making this happen. And this is where I really wish I had a dado stack because right now it's taking about 20-ish cuts per slat. Uh, whereas with the dado stack, I'd probably be able to get through it in one pass or so. Um, but we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Let's keep on it. So at this point, the center slats have effectively been cut out. I think they look pretty sweet um, and I hope they're gonna work. But uh, next up is really to kind of line up, mark out and tape out our lengthwise slats and then effectively try and fit them into this once we have them built. Still, uh, still a ton that can go wrong. So just fingers crossed that uh, this goes smoothly, so. Five hours later. Okay. So now that we kind of have the components together and the dry fit here is looking pretty good, <laughs> it's time to basically take some wood glue, stuff that doesn't dry yellow, and try and piece this thing together. Uh, we're basically going to take this vision and kind of drive this home and make it a reality here. Not trying to complain, but I could use a change. Okay. Uh, here it is. It's strong as a brick and I'm pretty damn proud of it, you know, all things considered. At this point we'll do a little more sanding, add some leg, but uh, let's make this vision come true. vision become reality. This thing took about 28 full skateboards to kind of put together and it also took about 16 and a half hours said and done. I wasn't sure if it was going to be dramatically different from like a regular Nelson bench and stuff but obviously the pops of color and using skateboards always kind of has me coming back because it's just so dang beautiful and it just has so much more character I find. So you know I am mega pumped that this is done and uh, thank you so much for following along on the journey. Remember to keep trying to make those visions come true. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks so much for checking this out. We'll see y'all in the next one and uh, subscribe, like, and all those things. Appreciate y'all. Have a good one out there. Peace.